What's happening to the nation? What's going on with you? You know what time it is. You know what we about to do. Show you this real quick. Size 13 all reds. So I've already done an unboxing video on these boots right here. Or what are these? These sneakers rather. <clears throat> and the light doesn't do it justice. <clears throat> but it's still like my favorite pair of the cash that I do own. As you can see, I have worn them. So you bought them, they have been worn. I just buy these for them to be a centerpiece, but I have worn them several times. Uh, not so much during the summer, it's just a little real toasty down here in Texas. But I've worn them several times, and I just want to do my long term review of these books. So the um, District Red, or the Fire Red, or the Fire Nation Red, the Gash Boots, uh, or sneakers as you some may like to call them. I've had these since I want to say April, April Mayish, and I've worn them several times. You can see, I still like to design these to attract a lot of attention. But <clears throat> if you can see right here, I did damage these. I'm not done behind. I wore these when I was looking for a uh, vehicle, and there's a part of the lot where. There was a lot of gravel, and I kicked one of the rocks and just walking and, and did damage right here. Hurt my heart, hurt my soul. I was like, why did I need one of my old raggedy boots? But I do need to clean these up. Outside that, they have hold up real well. <clears throat> and I still love these right here. Still love these. So let me get to the stuff that um, I didn't like on these or that I would I would have changed personally. It's just my personal opinion. Alright so I love the district crown that's right in here. But on these being such a limited edition personally um, if we had, if the tooling was available I think I said this also in the video I would have the district crown match the color of the leather. That would be one thing I changed for sure. Have it match the of the leather another thing or is it on these no it's, no, it's not on these it's on here um, and I, I've, I've seen the new 4.0 and they address this issue so you can just focus on it real quick right in here you can see where it's kind of frayed I uh, glued that back I had some super glue on it and it's, for the most part it's, it's pretty much my fault <clears throat> I was lacing these up and I went kind of He-Man mode on them to tight when I was tightening them up and kind of tore them out. So they didn't just come out, you know, super easy or anything like that. But I'm just pretty strong dude. I'm a big dude, 300 pounds. So you know, just being strong is gonna be awesome, especially on the 4.0. 4.0 is a bunch of beats. Dope. I don't know if they're gonna do another Destry Red, but I know if they get the, they do the maroon, I'm most definitely gonna get the maroon. And for the most part, um, that's it. As you see, this same damage from Dagon Rocks. My fault. I'm dumb. What to think about my leather? Hurt my heart. I still rock these boys. They still get attention. Mad attention. And what they about to be fall, they finna come right back out and get them cleaned up. I'm gonna bring them back out. Now let's get to the good. Still mad comfortable. Still mad comfortable still holding up as you see the wear the creases on them uh, the suede right here still holding up it's a little dirty I'm going to get some suede cleaner and this is this is one thing that really impressed me this shows the craftsmanship over the gash these letters this uh, em, uh not embossment but this this coloring right here I don't know how it's laid on but um it is laid on proper this has not faded off or chipped off or anything and like I said I I wear these I look at the bottom the bottom needs dirt wash and I want to clean some stuff I've been wearing these you know it was kind of muddy and I was able to kind of wipe it off you see that's the reason why I look a little ashy but I'm hit it with some cleaning and get some of the color back into it yo that's I like that that is dope it shows you they pay attention to detail and they don't spare any experience they don't give you nothing they don't give you a 
twenty dollar product for you know 100 200 bucks so that's super awesome like I said, still mad comfortable and of course we'll let anything leather <clears throat> I had to you know wear them in stretch the leather out only thing I probably would have did different really personally when I um, to get these size up I do have narrow feet so that's not that bad but my toenails get kind of long kind of fast I feel like my, my toe with my toenails being so long they hit like right out here at the tip of the, of the shoe and that's the only thing I'll probably do is get them size up just to make sure they see how much more comfortable they'll be because these are still comfortable but just the size up will probably make it a little bit better and really good people that's all I, that's all I got for you know still a great buy I, I, I said I still like I don't feel like I got jipped anywhere uh, I've been wearing these for a minute now for like no at no time they've uh, see there's a little bit of wear right here you can see where the groups weren't in you want to wear this without wearing even I'm a big boy like I said big boy we tend not to walk completely on about our foot you can see the same wear right about the same place and, <clears throat> and once again you know great product I love what I got I don't feel like I got gypped uh, if anything I would have got him a size larger so I got him size 13 I would have got him size 14 but somehow I always seem to get in it trying to convince homegirl that you ain't gotta do this but something in my head